Okay, we want to take you outside right now. A live picture of Walnut Creek. A little bit hazy still, but oh my goodness, what a difference a couple of days make. Uh, green all over the air quality map. Quite a beautiful day to breathe. Oh, look at that. Jeff Ranieri's live shot. Forget blue green. sky we in the blue. background. I oh. love it, Jeff. Take it away. <laughs> I know. It is so magnetic out here today. That blue sky, you just want to look off towards the distance and enjoy it. So I've got this unusual camera angle kind of pointing up, so forgive that. But look at all of that blue sky back here uh, behind us right now. Some of the best visibility we have seen now in 30 days. So I had to get outside for this shot. And uh, as we have been talking about, uh, the air quality is now good for much of the Bay Area. We've kind of fluctuated into the moderate here for some of the east and also the south bay. But as you look at my weather dashboard here, you can see all of these sky cameras showing that blue sky and then off towards the uh, right hand side. There's those live monitoring sites which are continuing to read good, which is excellent news, of course. Now, as we bring you further into the forecast, what you're going to notice here is we are expecting moderate to good air quality as we continue through tomorrow. Again, this is all based on the current fire activity, but I don't see a huge change as we move through the forecast. Cast uh, the next 24 hours. But look at the pattern setup. This is getting more and more complicated. So I really wanted to kind of uh, flush this out here for you. We have this storm system that is just slowly meandering offshore. That's what's been pushing this smoke off towards the east. But now there's some remnant moisture from what was once a tropical uh, system, Karina, way off to the south. And there will be some lightning and humidity to the south of the Bay Area. We're going to monitor that real, real closely for us, but it is something that kind of has developed over the past 12 to 18 hours. So for tomorrow morning, check it out. We have fog that is back and also some drizzle near the coastline. By the afternoon, you can see some of that cloud cover moving in from the south. That's part of that humidity and some of that tropical moisture. Let's give you a more expansive view, and you can see by Thursday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, some storms develop near Yosemite and to the south of us and we'll see that little bit more humidity in the atmosphere and that chance of storms through Friday as well. And as we know, it only takes one storm to kind of just be rogue and move off of this and branch off and we could have some storms here. Right now the chance is low, but we've got our eyes glued to that radar. We'll let you know about anything that comes close. Tomorrow morning, upper 50s and low 60s with that fog moving in, have you down to 58 here in San Francisco. Afternoon highs do warm up with that sunshine, 88 in Concord, closer to the bay, 75, and at the coast we have 60s. My extended forecast shows 60s in San Francisco next seven days and for the inland valleys and really for all of the Bay Area focus in on Saturday and Sunday. That's when I am forecasting a north wind 10 to 20 that could bring down a little bit more smoke for Saturday and Sunday. I'm calling for a 60 to 65% chance of that happening. We'll know more as we get closer. I'd say right now though, make sure to get outside after our show if you haven't and uh, well, just breathe in some of this fresh air. Isn't it beautiful? I know you guys were able to get outside today, but it, it, it wow. Looks, it looks great. So that nice. Spectacular. Wish we could do our newscast outside, Raj. Yeah. Wouldn't that be perfect? We need a skylight in here, <laughs> sunroof. Thanks. Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Up next.